I do not object to Christianity because it promises heaven to a few, but because it threatens many with perdition. It does not seem possible to me that a God who loved men to that degree that he died they might be saved abandons his children the moment they are dead. It seems to me that an infinite God might do something for a soul after it has reached the other world. On the where he retorts about uh, the uh, first point that these were not tidings of great joy. Uh, he, uh, Ingersoll says, if the passengers on some great ship were told that the ship was to be wrecked, that a few would be saved, and that nearly all would go to the bottom, would they talk about tidings of great joy? It is to be presumed that Christ knew what his mission was and what he came for. He says, Think not that I am come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace but a sword. That's Matthew 10:34. he's quoting from. For I am come to set a man at variance against his father and daughter, against her mother. And, and in my judgment, these are not tidings of great joy. Now as to the message of eternal grief. Then, he, then shall he say also unto them on the left hand, Depart from me, ye cursed, and everlasting fire prepared for the devil and his angels. He that believeth not shall be damned, and the smoke of their torment ascendeth up for ever and ever. Jeez, that's pretty gruesome stuff, isn't it? You know, I mean, really, I mean, these are, these are things coming out of the Bible. And all Ingersoll did was sort of uh, take some scripture and uh, put it up there. As, as generally, it, it, it's always a good thing to do if somebody's going to uh, tell you, well, you know, that's not true, everything's happy, uh, everything's love. Well, and uh, he was very, very good at, at uh, making his point in these writings. Well, anyway, um, I want you to look at that and then uh, I'm going to post the link and uh, just a little something that, uh, you know, just something to share with you tonight. I felt, I feel like doing videos, so I'm going to do some, you know, I feel like uh, if I'm going to feel like doing them, I better do them because uh, for a long time I just, I was so busy, I just couldn't do anything, you know, except what I had to do. So it's nice to be able to come back and talk with everybody. I, I really like that, you know. I miss talking to you guys. What do you really think about the dispute of the name of Christmas? That's a curious thought. But, uh, it's interesting to always hear everybody's point of view. I'm going to sign out now. Rhonda 9. See you later. Have a good one.